We want to introduce you to the AZ-1 cup semi-automatic unit. We wanted to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the model we've been using uh, for quite some time on the right there, the manual four cup maker, which comes in a one cup and an all cup kit with interchangeable plates for the K style cups as well as the espresso style cups. On the left hand side you see a much bigger bulkier machine and that's our semi-automatic. We're going to show you how it's used and how you can uh, really put it to good use in your business. As we've shown in our previous videos, we're uh, using the typical K-style cup that holds between uh, 8 and uh, 14 grams. We're using our K2.0 lids. The difference between this machine and the manual, obviously, is uh, once you fill the, the cups with coffee and set the lids in place, you simply push a button, the tray retracts, it seals for two seconds, pops out, then you just pop these out and put them in to whatever uh, container you're storing them in. Of course, you would normally have filled coffee uh, as you put those in, but I'm just doing this a demo without the fill. And then you put your uh, lids on, press the button, it retracts, seals for two seconds pops back out, a complete seal on that, and you're ready to keep going. So oftentimes what we do is we have somebody filling the, the cups with coffee so that the person sealing can simply stand to maybe perhaps to the right of this uh, and uh, put the cups in, put the lids on, and uh, simply press the button, let the machine do its thing. When it pops back out, you can always take a quick check to make sure it's sealed properly, and throw them into your container that uh, can be boxed or however you're gonna do it. Very simple process. A nice feature on this is it has a counter, so it counts how many uh, times you're doing the sealing, not how many cups, so it'd be four cups times the amount uh, of sealing reset button, you got a fully uh, controllable uh, uh, temperature control when you can also adjust the uh, timing on this unit as well. So very simple process. Put your filled cups in there and whether you're using the filled cups with or without a filter or even the ones with built-in filters which we're starting to uh, offer now, uh, either one will do just fine. We recommend the K2.0 lids, whether you get ones pre-printed with your logo or our fresh uh, roast or these blank ones that you can later stamp with a permanent stamp or put some type of uh, logo or name on it, perhaps the type of coffee. And then uh, you can see how uh, very quickly and with minimal stress you can produce lots of coffee. One thing we like about this machine over the, the uh, manual is the manual, you're constantly uh, jerking it around with the uh, hand control and in time components can become a little bit loose and you may have to check those from time to time. It's a very simple process, very heavy duty machine, weight wise at least twice the weight, maybe three times. It's a lot bigger machine and it's a little bit more expensive but it saves a lot of time and energy on your part and gives a perfect seal each time. Some have asked how to set the temperature gauge here and it's really pretty simple. You hit the set button just for a second till the uh, digit on the far right begins to flash and then you can use the arrow over to sequence between all the numbers like for example, I have this set on 180, but if I wanted to knock it down to 170, I would just hit the, the, that down button. Yeah, obviously, you don't want to go about much above 180, because uh, this is Celsius. If you wanted to go like 175, you'd manually hit this until it's 175. 
Since I don't want to do that, I'm going to change it right back because it seems like on the semi-automatic here, 180 seems to work. Uh, oops, going the wrong way. Pretty good. So once you're done with that and it's flashing, hit it just for a second and the, the setting changes. And you can see the actual temperature is in red. So you're ready to go. Because all these have programmable temperature controls, I just want to go through and show you the menu. So if you ever accidentally or somebody else accidentally hits the buttons and messes something up, you can go back in and fix it. But we recommend that you don't change any of the settings. As we mentioned a moment ago on switching it to uh, change the temperature, you just press the set button for a second. If you press the set bu button for a few seconds, it starts to go through the settings. So we're just going to sequence through the settings and let you see uh, that the SL it's 0, at the SHP it's 10, the SC is 0, the P is 13, the, uh, I don't know what that signal is, it's like a backward C, is set at 53, the D is set at 14, uh, I don't know if that's an R, it's set at uh, 20, AR, 0, LO, whatever that letter is there, 0. Uh, next we go to SL, 0. And then when you're done sequencing through the settings, just hold the setting button for 4 seconds or 3 seconds and it goes right back to its normal settings. As we learn about the what the settings uh, mean, uh, we can explain that to you, but we highly advise you not to mess with the settings. The only time you would need to make an adjustment on the settings is the temperature and if by some chance somebody is trying to set the temperature but they press it too long and then start changing the menu, this uh, little video might help you to sequence back and set the menu properly.